Hoodies are perfect for lounging around the house, watching a football game in the fall, or mowing the lawn. Now, hoodies have transcended beyond a comfortable piece of clothing at home and are now being sported by golfers at the highest level of competition. Hello, my name is Dominic Colby, and I'm going to discuss whether professional golfers should be allowed to wear hoodies during PGA Tour events. Since the dawn of golf, players have been tied to the social norms of upholding the grace of the game of golf. In many people's eyes, wearing a hoodie while playing sullies the beauty of the sport. We can look back many years to players like Ben Hogan, who wore his own style of hat that was not the norm at the time. Golf clothes have become more breathable, lighter, and more colorful over time. Wearing a hoodie while golfing is the latest evolution of golf clothing, and it should be welcomed with open arms. PGA Tour golfers should be allowed to wear hoodies for three main reasons. Number one, it allows them to grow the game of golf. Number two, it allows them the freedom to express themselves. And lastly, number three, it allows golfers to play at their best. In an article by Brittany Romano for Golf Digest, she paneled some of the Golf Digest editors, and most of them came to the same conclusion that I did. Wearing hoodies in golf is the wave of the future, and golfers should be able to be comfortable and wear what they want. PGA Tour golfers should be allowed to wear hoodies in order to grow the game of golf plain and simple. We as a society are in a constantly growing media-focused age where watching golf is regularly accessible through the large cover it has. Watching golf has never been easier, whether that is on a phone, TV, or in person. With this rise in media coverage, it allows for golfers to be seen on larger stages and with greater frequency. This creates opportunities for both businesses and the golfers alike to grow their popularity as well as earn them more financially. According to an article by Ryan Ballinger for Golf News Net, Adidas has started a cold weather golf line where their athletes such as Terrell Hatton, Colin Morikawa, and Xander Shoffley can benefit from wearing their hoodies. This helps the players grow their image, but Adidas as well monetarily. The more money that is in golf, the more people that it will reach. Players wearing hoodies is a cool thing and it can help attract fans who may not otherwise have been interested in the game of golf. Another reason why golfers should be allowed to wear hoodies is it allows them a way to express themselves. In the past, players such as Bubba Watson and Rory Sabatini have used neon-colored balls during PGA Tour events. Similarly, Jeff Shackelford noted in an article for Golf Week, Bryson DeChambeau has popularized the Hogan cap once again as a nod to two of his favorite golfers, Ben Hogan and Payne Stewart. This is an example of the litany of ways golfers choose to express themselves out on the golf course and wearing a hoodie is no different. Just as players like Ricky Fowler dress head to toe in orange on occasion, or Tiger wears red on Sunday, Rory McIlroy can wear a hoodie if he wants to. Lastly, golfers should be allowed to wear hoodies because it allows golfers to play at their best. Terrell Hatton kickstarted the hoodie craze when he won the 2020 BMW Championship while wearing a hoodie the entire tournament. In response, he received a ton of backlash regarding his decision to wear a hoodie. In the following video from Golf Poser on YouTube, Terrell responds to a tweet criticizing this decision. Hoodies aren't allowed in most golf places, and it should stay that way. The thing is, I, all the people that hated it, I'd actually love them to put the hoodie on and swing a golf club. The fact that it sort of moved from your body, you didn't have any restriction. Um, you know, when we're playing in colder weather, you, you want to be able to swing freely. And there are a lot of times when you, you wouldn't have been able to do that. And certainly with technology now that they can put in the clothing, it's doesn't really feel like you're wearing anything. As you just heard, Terrell cites the ability to be able to layer one's clothes, the comfort, and the lightness of the hoodies. He challenges others to try it for themselves because it worked for him, and if people just try it, it may not be so bad. Terrell Hatton played at his best and won the BMW Championship in 2020. He didn't win the championship solely because he was wearing a hoodie, but the added comfort and confidence he had from wearing it didn't hurt. In conclusion, golfers should be free to wear hoodies on the PGA Tour because it helps grow the game of golf, allows the freedom of expression, and it allows players to play at their best. Detractors may point to it not being the proper look of a professional golfer, and to that point, golf is ever evolving. Golf needs to gain new fans, and wearing hoodies like wearing all orange or walking in putts is a way to do this. If the players want to wear hoodies, they should be allowed to because at the end of the day, if they think they can play better in a hoodie, or more comfortable, it should be up to them. Golf is a great future ahead of itself, and the freedom to wear hoodies is a step in the right direction. Thank you for watching my video. Have a wonderful day.